Hey guys, welcome back to the Movement Underground. This is Mike Stella here, and I'm gonna take you on a facility tour, more in-depth facility tour. So if you're looking to build a strength and conditioning rehab facility, or maybe you're just in our area and interested in what we have here, this video is gonna be the video for you. So let's get right to it. So the first thing you're gonna notice in here is a very specific aesthetic design. I was trying to get away from that sterile, typical physical therapy clinic slash, you know, very typical commercial gym. So what we represent is a hybrid rehab, recovery, and performance facility. So a one-stop shop for everything you would need to get in better shape, perform at a higher level, or deal with an injury or nagging pain issue, and doing so with cutting edge technology and equipment at your disposal. So as we enter the gym, the first thing you're gonna notice is our code of the underground. And this is the ethos, this is our why. And so what I wanted to do when I started my business was really have sound principles and values that we're gonna anchor ourselves to. So as we grow, as we navigate, you know, the business side of this that we're anchoring to our mission, our purpose, which is to give you the very, very best as if you were a professional athlete or celebrity, every single client that comes through the doors is treated as such. So welcome to our space. What you're looking at is about 4,700 square feet total space. Um, but our gym space is about 2,500 square feet. So not that big by conventional, you know, commercial gym standards, but what I'm very proud of is everything here was selected for a very specific reason, curated with intent, um, because we wanted to have a very good multi-use facility that we can not only train and help people with things like weight loss and just general fitness and conditioning, but also serve our athlete population by giving them the best of both worlds in their rehab and recovery. So what you're gonna notice here as we begin to enter the room is of course the squat racks. They kind of represent the backbone. Um, and again, these were custom made for me by Dean Shantz at Black Widow Training Gear. He's actually located here on Long Island, but he does ship nationwide. So definitely check out at Black Widow Training Gear if you're interested in something that isn't the standard. So he helped me design these custom racks that we could use as a full cage if we wanna be inside the rack, but they also represent a half rack on each side so we can have basically up to six rack stations so nobody ever has to wait but if we are having people or athletes push the boundaries push the limits a little bit they can still get inside the cage and use it as a traditional full rack you'll notice he even put in some of these easter eggs and our logos in there which is a really nice uh you know again aesthetic touch you'll notice that up in the top and also what he did is cnc those into the crash bars as well you know because we use them from both sides we had to go with a weight tree instead the weight tree just allows us to hold our bars and not stash the weights on the rack which make it only usable from one side so this is kind of our solution to that um, um, and then you'll also notice that these two first racks have these jammer arms. And I really love this tool. This is a fantastic piece of equipment. These actually do slide up and down. So I can do something like a bent over row. We can also do rotational pressing work. So these are really great for power development. And also we use them for clients who maybe don't have as much gym experience and their stability might be a little bit more limited. These really come in handy as a way to start progressing some strength and power with more safety. So the, these are from Bells of Steel, which is a Canadian company. And and they will fit any standard Rogue or Titan or any of the major companies that have this, this whole size and orientation. Do check with your manufacturer and with Bells of Steel's before you order. Dean from Black Widow Training Gear also made us these custom deadlift platforms. Now, what he built for us was the steel frames for these deadlift platforms. These rubber, ballistic rubber inserts are actually from Titan Fitness. And then we actually made the wood platforms ourselves. So this is just two pieces of three quarter inch plywood cut into that four by four. So you have that nice traditional wood platform in the middle. Um, I used a nice red oak on the top and then just a like a, a basic plywood underneath. And those are laminated together to give you an inch and a half of thickness. This is where you'll see a lot of our deadlifts. We have the band pegs on here as well. So we can really push power, explosiveness, etc. So you have two deadlift platforms with the bumper plates. Coming on over here, this is our functional trainer from 
Kaiser. This is one of my favorite pieces of equipment in the whole gym. So this is, for those of you who have maybe never seen these before, very popular in professional sports. This is something where we're using air as the resistance. So there's a compressor that's located in the corner of the room over there. I'll show you that in a minute. But these arms, again, just like any functional trainer would work. You know, you attach your pieces, but the resistance is very clean because it's just air resistance. There's no weight stack. The other really nice thing about this Kaiser is we use this for our uh, athlete pre-participation or pre-training screening process. So we're actually able to get performance-based data out of this machine and calculate exactly what amount of resistance is gonna give you your most uh, training exposure to maximize your power output. Now, as great as these machines are, there is one downside, which is you know the amount of weight is going to be limited by how much air you can compress. So at the top end, this is gonna to get to about 60 pounds per arm or 120, which is enough to do most exercises. But if you're a bodybuilder or really pushing the strength button super hard, you might kind of max something like this out, which is where maybe a traditional weight stack would be for you, but you can't get that power exposure as well. So again, lots of different orientations of this. We could do upper and lower body training. We could do that in the gym side or even go to the turf side and do some work from there. So we do a lot of like resisted jumping, obviously more explosive type pressing and pulling type movements, as well as our uh, power testing. On our third rack over here, what we did is we extended this pull-up bar and added two additional uprights. So one of the downsides to, let's say, a traditional CrossFit gym or what you typically see as like a training gym for athletes is not a lot of machines, mostly free weights, squat racks, dumbbells, kettlebells, and such. Because we're also a rehabilitation facility, it is important for us to also have the ability to do some isolated work. So by adding these additional uprights, it gave us a rack attachment for the Titan Fitness knee extension, knee flexion isolation machine. So this allows us to do some, you know, traditional knee extension work, right? Quad work in isolation. We can also do standing, you know, hamstring work. We can change the orientation of this back. So it gives us a lot of versatility in a really small footprint for how we're able to maybe isolate some muscles or isolate some movements when needed in the rehab process. So versatility is really the theme that you're gonna see here today. Um, and one of the cool things about this is, again, there's some downsides to a plate loaded knee extension machine, which is like most of that weight, if you think about it, is pushing straight down. So really from 45 to, let's call it like 90 or 180 degrees, however you wanna you know, do this last bit, is where all your resistance is coming from. So that's where we enter in our anchor training cable system. So this is a portable cable system made by Anchor Training, and I do have an affiliate link in the description of this video. Um, these are really awesome if you are a rehab facility, if you have a small gym space, or even if you have a home gym where a cable machine doesn't make a whole lot of sense. What this utilizes are these uh, resistance plates, as they would call them, but really what it is is centrifugal force. So these are rotationally going to add your resistance. So all they do is clip on there and now you have your resistant cable machine. So we have two of these, we use them for a lot of different things, but the reason that this one is oriented down here is we will add weight to our Titan machine and then we can also just strap on the additional cable so that we get more resistance at the bottom of the movement. So again, versatility is key. Sometimes in the rehab process you don't want that, sometimes you do. Coming on over here is our conditioning area. You'll actually notice the compressor in that bottom corner there. That is the compressor for the Kaiser. That is what's providing the air resistance. So you'll hear it kick on as we're adding poundage to it. We've got a couple of salt bikes. You know, these are kind of the classic fan bikes, upper and lower body for conditioning. As far as conditioning goes in limited space, you know, a fan bike is really going to check off a lot of the boxes. If you're really just trying to improve your aerobic capacity, if you're doing something like high intensity interval training, if you're even just trying to do some zone two steady state cardio, um, these are really great, again, because they're so versatile. They're also great in a rehab sense, because let's say I have an ACL or a knee injury, I can still have an athlete get on here and get after it 
with their upper body to get some conditioning work in. Let's say I have an upper body injury, the opposite is true. I can really pull that lower body or that leg lever and really give uh, an athlete a good conditioning exposure even if they're dealing with a specific injury. Full disclosure, I actually bought these used, right? These assault products are so durable. They're so high quality that this is one of the things that I was more comfortable with buying used instead of brand new. Everything else for the most part was brand new, but these I was able to nail on Facebook Marketplace for literally 50% of the retail value, wink, wink. So if you are looking to start a gym, you know, where are you gonna go for used equipment? Where are you gonna go new? So things like a Kaiser machine or things like racks, you might wanna go and spend the money and get those things new. But for conditioning equipment, these assault bikes are really built to last, so you can find yourself a good deal if you are looking for it. Over here, this was an interesting piece that I took a chance on, okay? So this was from a company called Extreme Training Equipment. This is the Ergo Curved Runner. It's a magnetic resistance curved treadmill. You'll see a lot of different companies making these online from uh, Woodway, to Assault will make these as well. This Rogue now has their own, you know, curved runner and these things can run you in the five to $10,000 range, right? So that's a huge amount of money for a singular piece of equipment. So I was willing to roll the dice. There wasn't many reviews on this curved treadmill. Full disclosure, this is a made in China piece. But again, for the amount of indoor conditioning that we do, I was looking for something pretty basic and that just kind of checked off most of the boxes. So this Ergo machine has been honestly one of my favorite pieces that we've added and I'm so glad I took the chance on it at 1800 bucks. You really can't beat this deal. This has magnetic rings in it. So there's no internal components. And so what I mean by that, there's no motor. It's not plugged into the wall. The display screen is gonna run off a battery and your resistance is just moving these magnetic plates around your flywheel under the treadmill. And we have six levels of magnetic resistance here. Okay, so why was I willing to spend less and go for a, you know, maybe a lower cost piece of gear? It's because there's really no internal components here that are gonna break. So I was a little bit more comfortable going for something like this that's on an off brand maybe. But if you're on a budget and you really wanna add a curved treadmill for rehab, for gait analysis, whatever you're doing, this one, definitely check it out from Extreme Training Equipment, the Ergo Curve Treadmill. Moving on over here in this section of the gym is kind of where we have our specialty machines. Now again, we're in 2,500 square feet. This isn't a commercial gym that has every single machine known to man, every single isolated body part. Remember, we're a, a hybrid facility, so I'm, we're mostly training functionally here. We're mostly doing open chain stuff, free weights, a lot of that. But again, it is kind of nice to have these types of machines when you are doing some rehab and maybe stability and dynamic movement is a little bit more limited. So enter the Titan Fitness hack squat slash leg press machine. Is it a phenomenal hack squat machine? No. Is it a phenomenal leg press machine? No. Is it good at both? Yes, and it is in a very small footprint, which is exactly what I was looking for in my particular case. I didn't have a lot of space to dedicate to a hack squat and to a leg press, but I wanted both for the rehab process. We use this a lot with our ACL athletes. I even like to use this myself in my own training, just when fatigue is kind of hitting in to really blast those legs hard. So again, in this orientation, what you have is now a hack squat machine in the most traditional sense. So we can get up in here, we can lift this off, right? Release our little rack and now we have Again, this hack squat machine, it is very smooth. It's well built. This thing is very heavy duty. Again, the downside, not a whole lot of depth here, right? So a lot of times what we'll do is we'll put just another platform down here at the bottom, or we could throw some blocks up at the shoulders to lower your body down so you can get maybe below parallel if you are a you know, taller athlete or something of that nature, right? So when we go from this orientation, we can pull one pin, raise this platform up, we can drop our pad down, and boom, we have our leg press machine. So in this orientation, I got my foot platform up here, right? That's what we just adjusted, and I have my leg press machine. So again, this is full depth. There are stops in the track, so it's not gonna go any deeper than that. So again, some people might be like, oh man, that's not really as deep as I want. I really like to get that stretch in my hamstrings. So one of the things we can do is I take my, kind of my balance pads, and I will just lay them down right here on this backrest, right? 
gives me a little bit of extra cushion, but it's also giving me an inch and a half to two inches of additional depth. So now when I come back in my leg press machine, now my depth is maybe a little bit more along the lines of where you might want it. So again, if you are in a smaller facility, if you're working with injured athletes, if you are doing more rehab, maybe you're a physical therapy clinic that doesn't have a lot of space. This is a fantastic piece that gives you the ability to do both in a really small footprint, right? You can load your plates here. I really like the way they designed this with your additional plate load in the carriage underneath. So you actually can add quite a bit of weight to this. Now, we did have to put it together. They did ship it to us. It wasn't the easiest piece because this carriage is extremely heavy, but with two people, and a little bit of elbow grease, you could certainly get it done. Moving over here, we have a Bells of Steel reverse hyperextension and GHD or glute ham developer. Again, another dual threat here as far as like posterior chain development. We even do some Nordics up here, even though it's a little higher off the ground, you can do it if you're confident in your strength and your ability to do it, especially if you have a spotter. From a reverse hyper perspective, this carriage is adjustable and I can really load this up and add some momentum and really isolate, maybe work on that hip disassociation and just really work on more dynamic. This is a fantastic way to load the posterior chain if you've got low back pain, chronic low back tightness, because it gives you a little bit of that traction at the end, which feels really nice. And then in this orientation, again, this is adjustable, so we can use this as a traditional GHD or glute ham you know, developer, so I can do my hamstring extensions, we could do like more like Nordics. So again, this is a really cool piece because it gives us a lot of versatility. We can also do things like core training on it. So we'll have athletes hop on here, lock in, do like side planks with pale off presses. So you could do a lot of different things, again, on a really small footprint. Again, this is from Bells of Steel. This is a Canadian company, excellent customer service, really good prices for the quality of the equipment that you're getting. Now, this is where I had a little bit of hesitation hesitation maybe, or wasn't sure which direction I was gonna go. Bells of Steel makes a really great belt squat machine. There's the Squat Max HD, there's rack attached belt squats, but I ended up going with the Titan Fitness belt squat for a couple of reasons. The biggest one was the footprint and the fact that these pins are a little bit longer. So we added a belt squat mostly for the fact that we do work with a lot of baseball players. We see a lot of things like Tommy John, post-op shoulders, and being able to lift heavy legs when you maybe are in a sling is really important for us. Um, it's also really great if you are somebody with low back pain, this belt squat is a great way to get rid of the axial loading on your spine, but still load up your legs pretty, pretty heavy. So the way this works is we kind of use this chain to attach ourselves down into here. Again, you can adjust how much weight you have. You can adjust, you know, how much height you have from the pin. And so what happens here is once you stand up, we can move this lever forward and now we can do our squatting movements and all of that load is happening at my pelvis. So again, if I'm in a sling or I am dealing with maybe some shoulder problems, this is a great way to really load up the squat. I can load up a hinge. You know, we could do things like bent over rows. There's so many variations that you can do with this machine. And truthfully, I caught this on sale from Titan Fitness and they got me with the red chrome and black branding. So trying to keep with the theme, the red and black, we ended up going with this piece. One piece of advice is the way that they've designed this, they use this smaller like pin setup, which acts as a safety down here. Now we've removed it because one of the things is it limits how much depth you can have. So again, if you're trying to limit your range of motion, this pin would just exist here and limit how far down you can go. But since we're really looking for that depth, and truthfully, if you've got, let's say 45 pound plates on this, it's only gonna go down until the plates hit the ground. So even in a worst case scenario, it's not gonna crash all the way down. It's gonna stop when the plates hit the ground. Our setup here is there's always coaches on the floor. So you always have a spotter, you always have a certified strength coach with you to determine, you know, how much weight, what your risk level is and etc. So we've decided to remove it. That's just one little hack. If you're looking at one of these belt squats, it's, it allows you to get a little extra depth. Moving on over here, your traditional dumbbells. I actually got these dumbbells direct from the manufacturer in China. Now I know what you're thinking, Mike, America, you should have bought them domestically. Here's the secret. All of the companies that you buy this stuff from online are all sourcing it from China. Now I know they say made in America 
America. But what they do is they have it made in China, they ship it to the States, and once they slap that logo, that metal plate that says made in the USA or designed in the USA, as long as they make it better in the United States, they can say it's U USA. That's just the reality of it. So what I did was I found some of the major manufacturers of strength and conditioning equipment. I'm not gonna reveal my sources. If you're really interested, hit me in the comments or email me and we can have a conversation about that. But I went direct to the manufacturer and I had pro style custom dumbbells made from five pounds to hundred pounds with the rack designed for me to my specifications, shipped directly to us for a fraction of the cost. I mean, when you walk in here and you see these custom dumbbells, Dumbbells, it is definitely a flex. It's definitely something that people notice right away. I prefer the pro style round dumbbells over, let's say those hex dumbbells. It just allows us to do so much more with them. Same thing with these adjustable benches. These were sourced from the same company. These are exactly the same adjustable benches that you will buy from a major equipment manufacturer, only these were not branded and I bought them direct from the manufacturer and they work and they are of really, really high quality. I was very, very impressed with them. Again, very, very low cost for us. Rounding this out on our turf area, a couple of sleds and a nice multi-use plyo box. I love these soft plyo boxes. This again is from Bells of Steel. So if you're looking for a really high quality plyo box set where you have another additional one on the inside, definitely check out Bells of Steel for these as well. I'm very, very happy with them. Again, we have about 900 square feet of turf space here. So for sprint work, we have for our sled work, you know, our dynamic warmups, etc. It really works out well for us. One of the things that makes the Movement Underground probably the most special and fantastic fucking gym on Long Island, maybe even in the country, is that we really prioritize our recovery. So I've been in the sports medicine space for 20 years and an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. So when you are training somebody for the first time, maybe they're sore, maybe they don't have a lot of weightlifting experience, the hardest part for them in many cases is getting them over the hump of those first few weeks where they're super, super sore. Same thing with young athletes, high school kids, getting them to recover fast from their previous exposure maybe makes or breaks the difference between keeping that client and getting them long-term results or you know having them slip through the cracks. So we have these movie theater recliners I'll link this as well. I believe I bought these off Wayfair. I think you can also get them on Amazon. They're just the classic movie theater style power recliners. Super, super comfy. Um, they got your cup holders. And inside the arms here, we also have our fringe red light therapy wraps. So we have some red light therapy wraps in here for people to use. Cup holder, giant TV. You know, all the things you want to do when you're slapping on your Normatec intermittent compression boots. I will also link this in the description. I've been using Normatec intermittent compression recovery systems literally since they entered the market in 2007. I've owned every single iteration of the Normatec and it is one of the most highly recommended recovery products by me to my athletes and clients. So we have two separate systems, upper body sleeves, lower body sleeves, hip attachments, you name it, we have it. And we use this as a way to help with post-training recovery. Over here, we have our cold plunge. The cold plunge is from Polar Monkey Studios, and this is the Portal 2.0. Now, this is originally designed as a residential unit. They are now making commercial units. Now, the tub itself doesn't really matter. So this is just a stainless steel tub that is powder coated black. And over here is really where the main mechanicals are. So this is our chiller and filtration system. You know, in the commercial unit, the filter systems are a little different. In the residential unit, I have to change the filters a little bit more frequently, but we're okay with that because I really want to make sure that this water is clean. So this uses not only a particulate filter, but also a UV filter to kill bacteria. And as well, we're treating it with chemicals to make sure we're not having any bacteria, fungus, algae. We keep this at around 50 to 53 degrees in those evidence-based ranges. And generally speaking, we are using cold exposure prior to workouts or on non-weightlifting days. And I'll do a whole nother video on to why that is. But this is a really great way to train your nervous system and gain some of those environmental hormesis effects. Again, I'll do a full video just on cold plunges and how you might want to incorporate this into your training regimen. And then the piece de resistance is, again, one of my favorite pieces in the entire facility is my Clear Light Sanctuary 3 professional grade 
infrared sauna. This is, again, a commercial grade infrared sauna. It's just over engineered at the doors. Again, if you're wanting to get one of these clear light from a residential perspective for your home, they also make residential models, which are a lot more cost effective than the commercial models. But for me, again, I'm using this commercially. I can change all these wood panels out independently. So again, if wood breaks down, I can then go ahead and change those things out. I've added a red light and near infrared light emitter, LED emitter to the top. So we're actually using red light, near infrared light, and far infrared light, in addition to that heat exposure, as a way to train the cardiovascular system, as a way to enhance heat shock protein release, which are chaperone cells that aid in the folding of new proteins. So actually some really cool evidence to suggest that doing sauna and red light post-training exposures, really enhancing some of those strength and hypertrophy gains. So I'll do a whole video on heat exposure, how we use these things in contrast with each other, also another video on red light therapy. So again, that is most of the facility. We're gonna round out this tour by just showing you a little bit of our you know, manual therapy, physical therapy area. Again, I wanted to get away from that very sterile, you know, PT clinic where everybody's kind of wearing khakis and a polo. As you can see, I'm a little bit more <laughs> casual than that, but we have our high-low tables here. This is where you're gonna see, you know, your massage therapist, your athletic trainer, your physical therapist for either some manual therapy, maybe some table work, some manual resistance training. Um, but these appointments are available so that we can not only help our athletes recover, but also treat injuries proactively and help rehabilitate people who've maybe had surgery or chronic pain or any movement or mobility limitation. And then we're able to take that person, open up some range of motion, and then take them into a training experience right away. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this more in-depth facility tour, all the equipment, why I chose it, how I sourced it. If you have questions, please leave a comment below. Please hit that subscribe button. It really does help us out at the channel an awful lot. If you wanna see more content like this, or if you would like to see me review any particular piece of equipment in here in more depth, please leave a comment, ask a question. I promise I will get back to you, and I hope you all have enjoyed this video, and we will see you guys next time in the Movement Underground.